like a boss. All right, ladies. So let's talk about 10 ways not to over pursue a man. I'm going to give you guys 10 things that will help you not over pursue, but also will help you pursue without making him into a bitch. The thing is, is, is that it has to be a symbiotic relationship where both of you guys are chasing. It can't just be him chasing you, nor you chasing him, right? So this is more about how to get a relationship where you both are chasing each other without having to do any of this, where it's just like, it's symbiotic. Everyone, it's a, it's like a, there's no games involved, all right? So let me show you guys how to do it. Because again, if you over pursue, you turn them off. If you under pursue, you turn them into a bitch, right? You gotta find that middle ground. So the first one is this, um, nothing wrong with texting first, as long as you pull away, it give them chase, it give them space to chase, right? You could do anything first, just pull away and let them do the next move. You could get his number and you could initiate the contact, even text him first, but don't ask him out. You see what I'm saying? Like, like initiate it, but then you're done. You, and if he doesn't ask you out, you're not going to say, hey, um, I'm free on Friday. Just let you know. No, no, you're going to let that be. See what I'm saying? You got to let, you got to be willing to let things, f to let things happen on their own without forcing it. Okay. So you can text him first. You can initiate contact. Just create space after that. You can say, hey, good morning one day and then wait until he texts you good morning the next. The next thing is this. If he breaks up with you, don't ask why. Just accept it and move on. Don't ask why he broke up with you. Don't ask why he cheated on you. Just accept it and move on. The, the, the people will never be honest with you. They'll never tell you why they do the things they do. They'll never tell you why they broke up with you. They'll never tell you why they really flaked on you. You'll never truly know. So it's best to not even try to find out and just move on. Just move on. If somebody breaks up with you, don't ask why. Just move on. All right? Because it validates them. Just move on. Just say, oh, okay, cool. No problem. I'll go pick up my stuff tomorrow and move on. Like you don't ask why. That shows strength, people. The next one is if he doesn't if if he doesn't do what you want, don't complain. Just pull away until he pull until he feels a pull. If you notice he's not calling you enough, just don't start taking a long time to text him. Start pulling away. If he misses you, he'll start calling you more often. If you noticing that he stops taking you out, just start going out with your friends and stop hanging out with them. Start going out with your friends. Start dressing nice. If he says, where are you going? You say, I'm going out with my friends. You see what I'm saying? Like, like it just don't complain. If you notice, if you want him to call to, to text you more, you just don't text him as much anymore. You stop responding. You see, you see what I'm saying? So it's kind of like rather than complaining, if, if, if you want him to, to spend more time with you, then you stop spending time with him. You start being more busy. You get him to complain and say, why aren't you spending time with me? And then you say, well, you know, I, we, I just been busy. And then you can say, let's make some time. But if you do that and he doesn't complain to you, then that just means he doesn't like you. All right. The next one is he never double texts, right? You could text him, but you never double text. That's an obvious one, but I just thought I'd put that in there. Um, the next one is if he, if he never hits you up on the date, never see him again. If after the first date, he had never hit you up. Let's just say after the first day and you guys asked, you guys didn't have sex after the first date, if he doesn't hit you up, then you, you're not going to hit him up. You're not going to ask him out again. Okay. Unless it was sex, unless the date was sex, right? Unless there was sex on the date, then you could wait like a week or two and hit him up. I, the thing is, is I, I tell you guys to do that because it, sometimes you want to find out. Sometimes you want to find out. And if you really like him, I will give him one week to text you. And after the first week, he doesn't text you. Hit him up after that. And then you stop doing that. You wait for him to text you next. But the thing is, I don't want you to be sabotaging yourselves when you really like the guy and you want to find out. You see what I'm saying? So do find out. Just make sure that when you do that, you pull away. You stop making the effort. You know what I'm saying? If you're going to make, if you're going to do, if you're going to break a rule and chase, then after that, you just completely back off. You know how you know how sometimes you say, you know what? I'll do this one time. I'll double text. If I have to double text you, I am never doing. For the next week or two, I am. I, I can promise you, I'm gonna show you some coldness, right? Because you need to give people space. When you double text, you validate them too much. So you need to balance it out, right? 
The next one, if he flakes, make him wait three weeks, right? If he cancels on you, make him wait three or four weeks. I mean, um, two or three weeks to see you. Simple as that. Why? Because he'll know that the next time he tries to flake, he'll remember you made him wait two or three weeks. So he's going to have to decide whether or not he want, whether or not he wants to do that. The next one is never be available today or tomorrow. Never be available today or tomorrow or, and, and never text them after 930. Okay. Um, the ninth one is never use sex as a reward. Never say I only have sex until three months. Never say I only have sex after 90 days. Never say I only have sex. And you know, so never use sex as a, as a, as a mark of where you guys are in a relationship. Because that says what to the guy that just says that you are somebody who is really serious. <laughs> right. And the last one is never tell him what you want. Never tell him what you want. If you want a relationship and he says what you're looking for, say that you're open. If you if you just want if you just want a fuck buddy and he says what are you looking for, say that you're open. Why? Because when you tell somebody what you want, it it opens you up to manipulation. And and even though you think that you will never do that, you never know people. Some guys are evil enough to say that they want that too, and then knowingly uh, they just really want to bang you, and then they're wasting your time right so that's what you got to do you got to protect your time and who cares if you're in, if you're insulting people who cares if they feel offended fuck that shit you 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 lie to them you say hey man i, I don't I, I don't know what i'm looking for because if a guy knows that you're looking for a relationship he'll just start acting like he wants a relationship with you you'll end up falling in love and then you and then you find out that he really doesn't love you but it's already too late Mm -mm. Nah, don't get into that, okay? So that's what you gotta do, man. You you gotta learn to lower your expectations with people, expect less, and never tell them what you really want. It is what it is. People are slippery. People, humans have been around, and and naturally, as a result, genocide has been a normal part of our evolution. A lot of fucked up shit, right? So don't think that the people who you're dating are some angels. Don't let those smiles fool you. Don't let the profiles fool you. Don't let don't let the whole fool you there as this you can easily be getting stabbed as much as you guys think i may be just chilling i could easily be you know jacking off right now like like you never know what's going on like easily be getting my dick sucked you never know what's going on right so it's kind of like you never know just from the smiles don't don't let this assume like is this this is this means nothing in fact this a strong smile I could, I could potentially mean this right but don't pay i don't pay attention to how nice somebody looks how friendly they've been coming coming across i don't pay attention to none of that because people are just natural manipulators it's just how it is people are just natural manipulators you animals human animals are the only animals who are able to control their faces as well as we could why because we got to control our faces to hide how we feel we're, we're, you know, social animals. We, we got to know how to hide emotions, how to control, how to manipulate. So as a result, you, you can't trust people, especially in the dating world. When it comes to getting what I want, I'll easily destroy you to get what I want. It's just how people are. And if you want to resent that, go ahead and resent that. But you know what? If you resent that, that means you were denying it. And that part of human nature will end up biting you. The same thing you were trying to avoid, you get. As soon as you accept it, you're able to maneuver around that part of human nature rather than avoiding it. Peace out, people. All right, ladies and gentlemen, if you guys ever want to learn how to use your feminine energy to influence people, learn how to use your masculine energy to become more assertive, and also learn how to blend both energies to improve your dating life, your spiritual life, honestly, <laughs> um, your relationship life, your family life, your career life, this is the course for you. If I had to make a course for my nieces, I have two nieces, one is 8, 19, and one is 14, 15, 16, holy shit. Oh my God, he's a bad fucking uncle. He's a, he's a bad uncle. Get him. Shut up, Melissa. You should, you should get this course, right? And this is the course that I will make for them. So for example, watch the curriculum, right? In the first week, we're going to be showing you how to establish a strong masculine foundation without letting it hurt your feminine energy. This masculine foundation is a source of who you are, right? It's it's your bodyguard. Without this, your whatever feminine energy you create will be destroyed by the outside because your, your, your masculine 
is your shield. So we'll talk about goal setting. We'll talk about how to develop a serious attitude. We're going to be talking about how to um, how to use more logic, how to use more goal oriented behavior. It's more how to be a man, <laughs> you know. It, you know. Now the next one is how to embrace the feminine energy, right? This one would this one will teach you about how to minimize excessive masculine traits, developing self awareness. Healing abundant feminine energy, regulating your emotion, vo uh, mastering voice qualities and, ex and facial expressions, surrendering control and allowing pain to be felt. This is honestly, it's, it's, it, it, this will supercharge, like, like, like Kayo Ken, your masculine energy. After that, we have um, femininity in the workplace and how to be feminine in the workplace without letting people take advantage of you and the nuances of um, how women on power should behave versus women who are subordinates in the workplace. And even the dress code, they, they, these are, this is based on psychology, people. It's kind of insane. I'm actually excited about this one. The next week, we talk about navigating the labyrinth of male and female friendship. And this, a lot of women find confusing, so we talk about that. And how to identify envious friends, how to identify the good friends, how to keep male friends, and how to keep female friends. Week five, we talk about how to release the burden of the past and stop and destroy mental projections. This is actually really powerful. Um, and this, and then week six, we talk about how to increase your observational power so that you so that you can read people better. Um, and we have a bunch of bonuses. It, the course starts at um nine at ninety nine dollars. Um, and you guys can pre order the course today at sixty nine dollars before it goes out. Um, if you're watching this, most likely I'm in the meditation retreat, so I really most likely I will be praying for all of you guys. And um, just click on the description down below of the video right there. You'll see it, and you could pre order that course. It's gonna be out by by the end of next month or the beginning of February of of March. One of the two people, because I have a 10 day retreat to do. And I want to I want to finish the course um, after the retreat, because I think that the ideas are going to be so much better. All right, man, I'll see you guys later. Free order, man. Oh, I'm closing the channel.